I'm guilty of this. I come on this show every day and I hammer Jimmy Garoppolo and I hammer Kyle Shanahan daily for years. I've been doing this since like 2018. And I feel like I just repeat myself. We all know Kyle Shanahan's shortcomings. We all know Jimmy Garoppolo's shortcomings. Jimmy Garoppolo, we said it a million times. He's not really a starting quarterback. Kyle Shanahan, not really a head coach. He's not going to improve. He's not going to grow. He's the same coach every week. He's the same coach every year. Same with Jimmy Garoppolo. So when we get mad, oh, Jimmy's not elite. Right. We've known that for a very long time. And that's not going to change. Oh, Kyle's not elite. And he can't win. Right. We know that. And he's not going to change. So this is all about Jed York. This is the guy who fired Jim Harbaugh after one season that he didn't have a losing uh, a winning record. Didn't have a losing record. But had such high standards with Harbaugh, ran him out after four years for Jim Tom Sula. And now he's in year six and is still waiting around to see a little bit more. Jed York is the only person in the world who needs a little bit more evidence from Kyle Shanahan and Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know if we've seen enough yet. What is Jed waiting to see from Kyle? We already know. I mean, nothing against Kyle. It was an interesting experiment. You took a an offensive coordinator, gave him the keys to a franchise, said, look, you can be the head coach. Uh, GM, everything, whatever you want, you can do. It didn't work. He's in year six. He's four games under 500. His weaknesses are getting weaker. It didn't work. Move on. But Jed won't. How many years are we going to let Jed sit there and take no criticism and just put it on Jimmy and Kyle for being Jimmy and Kyle? It's kind of like Denny Green at this point. Like They are who we think they are. Yeah, Kyle's not good enough. Yeah, Jimmy's not good enough. Why are they still here? Harbaugh got shown the door after four years. And we're in year six of the same thing. Oh, Kyle can't figure out how to keep his players healthy. Yep, that's going to be the same thing next year too. He's not changing. He's just not good enough. So Jed, we're looking at you. Do something. Why are you so content to let Kyle Shanahan be the same and Jimmy Garoppolo? Why is this okay with you? Do you want to win a Super Bowl? Or you wanted to just be, you know what Jed, Jed York's problem is? He can't admit when he's wrong. He can't admit when he's wrong. So he's just going to stick this out with Kyle Shanahan forever because he, he picked him. What I don't understand about Jed is why he didn't have this loyalty to Harbaugh. He picked Harbaugh too. He could have taken credit for all of it. But he competed with Harbaugh after hiring Harbaugh, then fired Harbaugh. And he brings this guy in who's just not a head coach. Harbaugh has had success every single place he's ever been. Since 2010, Harbaugh has lost fewer games than Kyle Shanahan has lost since 2017. It, it didn't work. Kyle Shanahan's value to the team right now is what they could get for him in a trade. But Jed won't do it. Jed's just going to keep running this back and running this back and running this back and marketing it. Kyle, everyone loves Kyle. Kyle has good reviews. I'm tired of criticizing Kyle. I'm tired of criticizing Jed, uh, Jimmy. It's got to be Jed. He's the one that's putting up with this. He's the one that ran off Harbaugh. Really what Jed should do, Jed should trade Kyle and go to Harbaugh and apologize and offer him whatever it takes to, to get him here. And you know what it would take? Probably $20 million a year and Jed's stepping down. And Jed should do it for the, for the betterment of the franchise. But he won't. You know what Jed likes to do? Jed likes to hire first-timers. Think about it. Whenever he hires someone, first-timer, Kyle Shanahan, never been a head coach. John Lynch, never been a general manager. Trent Baalke, never been a general manager. Tom Sula, never been a head coach. Mike Nolan, Mike Singletary, over and over and over, first-timers. Why? Because they owe him. And he looks like a genius if they work out because he spotted something. He wants people to think he's smart. He's not smart. He's not sorry. Would a smart person fire Jim Harbaugh like that? No. He wants to hire first timers. So he's not going to bring back Jim Harbaugh. He's not, he, he might go get Ken Dorsey if, if, if things don't work out with Kyle, but he's never going to run away from Kyle. He wouldn't get Sean Payton. Sean Payton has too much clout. Kyle, Jed couldn't say, oh, I'm a genius. I found Sean Payton. No, everyone knows Sean Payton's good. He wants first-timers. He got one with Kyle Shanahan. He likes the experiment better than actually winning. 
Harbaugh produced wins, and Kyle and Jed was like, "Man, I can't take credit for this. You're you're getting all the credit, Harbaugh, because you won at Stanford, and you come here, and now you turn my crap around. Everyone's giving you the credit. I want the credit. So I'm going to fire you, and I'm going to I'm going to put Tom Sula in just to show that the team won't miss a beat, and that you had nothing to do with it. But everything fell apart." And now he's still trying to look like he's the genius because he discovered Kyle and they're going to work it out. Maybe 10 years from now, they'll figure it out and Kyle will change. But the fact is, Kyle's never going to change. So Jed has to do something and we have to put Jed on the hot seat. Jed is now on the hot seat of his own team. 